everybody, welcome to another JP Tech Talks. We're talking about silk screening today. Uh, one of the main things with silk screening, you always start in the computer. We've covered lots of design videos in other areas of this YouTube channel. Uh, but we are looking more today at the practical creation of those silk screens to be able to print onto a t-shirt, piece of paper, any kind of media that will accept the ink and can be cured through our heat cure process. A uh, couple different things you're going to need. Uh, this was my original design. I printed it out on our photocopier in the classroom here. Uh, black and white. The design must be black and white to get started. If you don't have a black and white design, you'll have various different types of gray. They may turn out, they may not. It's a little bit of a, a gamble. Black and white is the best. As you can see, there still can be lots of detail in the design, but you need to have that nice, clean black and white. We take this, we make a photocopy of it, we turn it into a clear transfer uh, negative so that we can use this to create our silk screen, which then allows us to print this. So anything you see in black on this clear piece of paper will then be printed in ink when we get to that stage. The first step in this process is to get a silk screen out of here. These screens are pre-coated by myself. They are light sensitive, so we want to work quickly and efficiently. If you're not ready to burn to the screen, don't take it out of the cabinet, okay? Also, it's an old cabinet. Don't just yank on the door. You need to turn the knob perpendicular. It will open beautifully for you. Take out a silk screen that's ready to go. Close the door, top and bottom. Turn the handle. Nice and secure, keeps all the other screens in the dark, tucked away, so they're not being exposed to light. We're gonna take this into the other room and get started. Okay, here we are in our silk screen room. This is our exposure machine. So this burns the picture of our design onto the screen. Uh, I've taken the liberty because this is light sensitive to put my screen in here while we were getting this demo set up. So I'm gonna pop it open. I'll show you what it looks like. You've got your screen that is unburned. Put it in flat into the exposure machine. We take our clear sheet. This needs to go underneath our screen and you need to be able to read it. When you look straight down on the screen here, you must be able to read the words, otherwise this will not work. Generally, I like to have my design closer to the top or the bottom of the screen, just because when I go to put on a t-shirt, it works best for getting it lined up with the collar and stuff. If you have a design that is clearly has a top and bottom, try to line it up so that the top is at the top of the screen. Similarly, the bottom right there, okay? So, we'll get a snapshot of this for you so you can see what's going on. Uh, in the video later on. Next step, we pull this cover down. We're gonna lock it in place here with this clamp. The settings on this machine are generally pretty much automatic. It's gonna run for three minutes. Your only job is to set the timer to three minutes and then you can walk away, you can talk with your friends. It does get very, very loud and so generally I recommend that you hit the road, wait for the sound to stop, and come back and finish up the project in a minute. All right, so now that our exposure unit has run its course. It's shone a bunch of UV light on the back of our screen. It's cooked our design into the screen. We can take it out of the machine at this point. Obviously this is spring loaded, so be careful that it doesn't hit you in the face on the way up. You're gonna take your design, your cooked screen out, and your original out. Keep track of this. These two pieces need to go into your portfolio in the end. We're gonna shift our focus to our wash bay right now. So, if you notice, there's actually no design yet on the screen. It looks like it hasn't even worked, but what this is, is this is, has not been washed out yet. So part of our screen is hard, part of it is very delicate. No light has hit the top of this screen yet. We've only exposed on the back, so the majority of our spraying needs to happen on the back of our screen. 
We're gonna take our simple garden hose. We do not want to use the pressure washer. We're gonna wet the front here and the soft back. Needs to be wet as well. Yep, oops. <laughs> You'll start to see it starting to expose here and starting to show up. As we continue to spray, your design will start to show up more and more. I like to run my hand along the design just to kind of break the surface tension of the emulsion. I feel like it helps it to dissolve a little quicker. You can gently do the same thing on the back. Again, making sure that everything is wet. It always needs to stay wet on the back, but not a lot of strong spraying or you're gonna end up ruining the design. Once you've washed it, it's gonna start to show up like this. I usually check it with a light source to see if I've gotten out all of the emulsion. You need to make sure that whatever the edge color, some of our screens are yellow, some of our screens are white. This color needs to be the matching color in here. If it's kind of a faded blue or a faded green, that means you haven't completely washed it out enough. You need to get it back to the original color of the silk screen. At this stage, once we've got it washed out, we would simply tuck it under the table to dry. I don't have one finished for you, so we're gonna have to wait and finish this up tomorrow.